All right, good morning, everyone. Real quick, um, this one's going to be a little rushed. I uh, woke up late this morning, didn't get to the office till right before my first meeting started, so I usually I try to do it in the morning before all the meetings start, so I have a room to, to do one of these in, but um, yeah, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, like I said, GDC, let me know. Screens, movement screens if you want one. Um, leave me a question for Sunday, and... Um, yeah, like so let's get right to it. Actually, this this to, to, this morning is cool. I actually have a, uh, a question from somebody is, uh, who wanted to remain anonymous, but the question is, you seem to do a lot of stuff, whether it's your continuing ed, whether it's any of your side projects, whatever it is. How do you find time? That's uh, that's that's the short of the question. Um, so this actually dovetails into that thing that I keep saying I'm going to do, which is have a long conversation about productivity and, and how to schedule and how to kind of move towards your goals. But um, for me, the, the, the first thing I would say is, um, you know, check in with yourself, monitor yourself, always be, always be kind of asking yourself, what could you be doing? You know, now I know there's this, um, I, I don't know, I mean, you guys know I've been in the tech industry for a while, and for, for a little bit there, there's this, this, you know, quality of life has always been a big discussion, but I, I feel like at some point we went too far in the wrong direction where people started worrying more about quality of life over quality of work. And I'm the kind of person that, you know, quality of work and quality of life are not mutually exclusive to me. Like, my life is better when my work is better, whether that's my work at the office, whether that's my work on my projects. And I know some people say, oh, well, that's just going to lead to burnout because all you're doing is working the whole time. It's like, well, yeah, but I mean, maybe you guys have seen this meme floating around, the the idea that, you know, create a life that create a life that you don't need to escape from, right? You know, people ask me that all the time, what, you don't ever take vacations. And the reality is, is, like, is, is I, don't, I don't need to get away from all the things I'm doing. Um, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time kind of sort of qualifying and quantifying to myself, like, what are the things that I like to do and that I want to do? And, and that's, I think that's a, that's a big first step is figure out, like, what do you do? What do you like spending your time doing? And what are the things that, you know, I don't like the idea of if money, you know, like if you couldn't fail or if money were an issue, what do you, what do you, what do you, you know, what do you, what would you do? I, I like to instead ask, like, if I lost my job tomorrow and I decided I didn't want to try and stay in the tech industry, what could I do that I think I could make money at and that I would enjoy doing? And that's the big reason I got into the, the, the fitness education. I'm trying to get into the fitness industry. That's the, the, that's one of the reasons that I started, you know, I finally figured out how to do music and streaming and stuff because that's something that I'm like, you know, I don't have a super expensive life, so I feel like with a little bit of effort, that's something I could actually make enough at. And so back to what I was saying at, at the beginning, you know, once you figure that stuff out, you know, catalog your time, check in with yourself. You know, when, when you have those idle moments, ask yourself, what could I be doing, you know? And I think to me, that's another advantage of having a bunch of different projects is that when I start to get kind of burned on one project, I can always say, oh, let me switch over to this other one and that'll refresh me. But for example, like, you know, if, if I get to the point where it's like, okay, I've been working on, on you know, my website or I've been working on programming for, for fitness or my GEC presentation for way too long, I need, to, I need to reboot, I need to do something else. Rather than saying, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like veg, you know, it's like, I can say, oh no, I'm gonna flip over and, you know, maybe work on some stuff for my stream or maybe work on some, maybe work on a tape for, for the show this week. Or maybe, you know, do something else. And that's not saying I don't ever just, like, have days where it's where I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to I'm just gonna play StarCraft for a couple hours a day or something like that. But, you know, ultimately, like I said, be, be aware. Catalog your time. Catalog your efforts. And make sure that you're always moving around and that you're moving towards what it is, where it is that you're, uh, where it is that you're trying to get. And that actually kind of leads into a bigger conversation of goal setting and figuring things out. You know, like I said, you know, you have to figure out what it is you want to do and what you could do and what you're okay doing, you know, what, like what's going to, what's going to keep you going. So we can definitely talk about that tomorrow. And if you have questions about that, let me know. I'll either answer them here or on the Q and a. And anyway, I've got a, Another meeting I've got to jump into. Thank you for thank thank you sleeping in and coming in late. So that's it for today. And like I said, leave me questions. Cheers.